All right, what's up, everybody? We are on episode eight of The Glory, which is the finale of the first part. It definitely does feel like, you know, I don't know. I, I, I definitely get the impression that this episode we're going to get into the full truth about what actually happened with Myung-ho, right? I mean, that's been kind of the, the, the mystery for the past three episodes already. It's starting to be very clear what direction we're headed in when it comes to that. We just haven't gotten a full confirmation of things yet. See how that played out. Presumably with Yeon Jin there, right? And him trying to get that confession out of her, trying to basically threaten her with that revelation, uh, which clearly didn't turn out the way he had intended, which was interesting. But um, I don't know. I wonder if I should be in for like a surprise still in that regard, because we have been building up to it for so long. But like I said, it is kind of seemingly pretty obvious what must have happened, right? But I guess that's what we're going to learn more about. Yeah, the other big... <laughs> <laughs> uh, encounter, confrontation, whatever you want to call it, that I can't wait to hopefully see more of still, while well, it must be, is the classroom scene that we ended on, where both Jae Joon and Ha Do Young were standing there in the room. For Do Young especially, it was a big surprise, everything that was going on, right? Not just seeing Jae Joon here, but then also seeing Dong An show up as the school teacher, learning that it was her actually <laughs> who was the teacher in the end. And simultaneously realizing she therefore must have been friends or whatever, right? Because that's what Haya Sol told him uh, with Dong An. But then now he's learning from Jae Joon that like, nah, they weren't exactly friends. They were more like enemies. He's learning more and more, putting the puzzle pieces together, figuring out what the hell is actually going on here. And realizing, I guess, sort of the intentions behind Dong An's plans and everything, right? So... Oh, man. I, I mean, I literally started to feel kind of bad for him, to be honest, because as uh, yeah, I can repeat it a million times, but like as much of a he is definitely kind of a stuck up dude, right? He's a rich guy. He doesn't treat people too right, but he's also not a bully. He's not morally evil like these, you know, like or as morally evil, I guess, or whatever, as these bullies are. He hasn't done anything truly terrible. I don't think he's really broken any laws or something like that. Um, he, wa he was ignorant to this whole thing, even... Even learning the truth now soon about Haye Sol and realizing it wasn't his daughter in the end. It's like, man, it's good. his whole world is about to be falling apart there, you know? And he is somebody who didn't have it coming for him necessarily. So it's it's definitely, yeah, something I feel kind of bad about. Um, there is still the storyline with Yeo Young, right? And his uh, father's killer, which they've been teasing a couple times now. And the dude is still writing letters to the mom from prison saying how much he enjoyed doing it and stuff, which is very strange. I really wonder, like, what the tale is going to be still of that storyline, because they are clearly diving into it a lot, but I fail to kind of see, like, okay, where is that all going to... What is that... How is that all going to connect to the main story that we're kind of dealing with, right? I get that for Yeo Young, it's kind of a a way to prop him up already as like, oh, he's going to be a future killer, because guess what? He's been fantasizing all this time about killing the guy that killed his father, but... And maybe that's the first person that he's going to actually kill more of, like, personal uh, grievance, you know? Then again, he is still in prison, so I feel to see how he would be able to do that. But uh, again, from that angle, I can kind of understand that they're doing it more to build up Yi Yeo Young's own um, mindset and stuff, right? And to, to make us be able to uh, place ourselves in, in his shoes, but... Still, the scene itself also still um, emphasizing, for example, his mom, right, who gets those letters and stuff. I wonder where they're going to go with it. I wonder what's going to happen then with the killer. Um, but we're going to learn all about that, hopefully, very soon. For now, we're going to dive into episode 8 here. Uh, and of course, guys, if you enjoy my reactions to the glory, then you can already watch the next 8 episodes over on Patreon, which is going to be linked on top of the description. And what that means is that we'll actually be entirely finished with the... First season, I still don't know if it's going to be just the first season or if it's a standalone show and this is going to be it. But we'll have all 16 episodes up there for you to check out straight away. So go and check it out. Your support is very much appreciated and allows me to make these videos in the first place. Full length reactions are up there too. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. And then for now, let's dive into episode 8 of The Glory. Oh, back to this, huh? <laughs> Where is she trying to talk with her? <laughs> Spare me. Oh, 
Dude, you can say what you want, but this is the first character we see actually feeling sorry. Although I still think it's more feeling sorry for knowing what's coming, you know? She just has too much on her line with her marriage coming up. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I wonder how exactly she knows the future mother-in-law of her. <laughs> yeah, she's basically saying don't don't even bother. Yeah, and now she's gonna resort to this tactic all that tells you all you need to know. Oh I'ma give you your phone back or what? <laughs> oh shit. Now she's gonna realize the full extent to what she's already been preparing. Yeah. Oof. Okay, so she just wants her to be the next Myung oh I guess, huh? Yeah, there we go. I see. So she doesn't have to be the one doing it. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Because she's one of the only people who can legitimately do it. I guess she could have also asked, you know, the other person she extorted, right? Sarah. Oh, man. He's just gonna see that they already... <laughs> He's like, yeah, actually, let me just confront him. <laughs> oh, just throws it back around on him. Oh, shit. I don't know. Did he find out the actual reason? Didn't didn't Myung Oh contact him about, I presume, Yeon Jin? It had to do with Yeon Jin killing that, uh, yeah, the, the kid back in the days. Wow. Uh. They will not stop with these scenes, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it kind of is, right? Once you start realizing what's actually going on. Damn. I mean, he, we know he doesn't have a problem with attacking girls. Oh. Yeah, it's actually interesting to see her not be able to let go this time. Normally she's so calm and collective. God, this dude is such a fucking creep. Yeah. 
He has his own stakes into this now. <laughs> you were part of the plan too, my guy. I see. This is going both ways. <laughs> he has the drawing from ISO. Yeah, you're not really revealing anything to him though. By showing that she's colorblind. He knew that already now. Oh, shit. Yeah, that confrontation weighed on her quite a bit. It's interesting though. Because I hadn't really expected her to just walk up to him like that and, you know, even slap him and stuff. I guess she does feel really bad about simultaneously kind of having to work with him now, although I presume after their work is concluded, their collaboration, she still plans on taking him out as well, right? In some way. Now she's gonna learn that he found out. Yeah, why was he there? Oh, yeah, she's gonna feel so out of control now. <laughs> no, he's not gonna be your second husband. <laughs> Yeah, violence of the worst kind. He wants to know it all now. Badly. Oh boy. You know, we might start to actually feel for Dong on here. Understand why she's doing it. Is this the first time? Man. Every single time you feel like, well, they've shown us enough now and <laughs> they just keep going back to it. This is their first encounter though, so I wonder if this could be the last time that we're going to see it. Feels like that's kind of come full circle now. Yeah, she had more victims, unfortunately. See, he wasn't even aware who the hell he married. Uh. <laughs> As in... Look at me, I'm on your side, Dongan. I've repented. Is she still over here playing Go? Willing to have a meet with him? Oh, it's actually him. Yu Young. I mean, he doesn't know that he knows her, right? <laughs> but but um Dong An did tell Yeo Young, right, that like she was after this guy. So Yeo Young knows. Fancy clothes or what is he wearing? <sighs> Oh my god, he's making it clear to him that- Dude, this guy can't stop running into people part of the plan anymore. Oh my god.
It's all so symbolic, just like the game of Go itself. Ah, 죄송해요. Ah, 제가 요즘 환자가 없어서 하루 종일 넷플릭스만 보니까. That's so me. <laughs> 톡에 답도 안 하시고 어디 다녀오시나요? Oh man, how is this gonna play out now? 근데 오빠 나도 배워볼까? 바둑? You are trying too hard. 뭐 하나 물어볼게. 어? 예솔이 담임이 친구야? Oh, this is kind of an ultimatum. Like you're gonna tell me the truth now, but she probably still won't. 봐서 알겠지만 나랑은 좀 과가 다르잖아. 우리 대화로 잘 풀었는데 왜 뭐라고 해? 뭐라고 했어야 하는구나. He knows the full truth already, so you better be honest now. 우리 연인으로 2년, 부부로 10년, 그렇게 12년이야. 연애는 뺀다 쳐도 열 번은 다잘될 거라고 말해줘야지. 뭘 바로 이렇게 다 그쳐. 어디서 무슨 얘기를 들었든 듣게 되든 그러지 마, 오빠. I don't know if I agree with that one. 그러니까 열지 말아야 할 상자는 열지 말라고. Don't try to open a box that should not be opened. 나 오빠 사랑해. 그래서 아무것도 들키고 싶지 않아. Wow. Little does she know he's already opened the box. Wow, but she she's kind of being upfront though. She's saying, yeah, I have a box like that and it shouldn't be opened. 어? 나쁘지 않나 봐. 난 사주고 싶은데 그 아저씨는 흑이 없거든. 그게 중요한 wasn't Fendi the same brand of clothes that Yoo Young was wearing? What am I not catching on to yet? Who are these people? Yeah. To be honest, he could literally be her rightful husband, right? Yeah, he's even offering it. 나 오빠 사랑해. 그래서 아무것도 들키고 싶지 않아. I was gonna say, like it actually is a move that she could make. 아그 사람 사랑하네. 사랑하고 있었어. <laughs> what is this weird, eerie way of saying that, though? 여보세요. 내일 점심에 시간 어떤가 해서. 네가 부탁한 몇 가지 전달하려고. Oh, what? Wait, so his husband is going to Oh, sorry, his wife is going to that shaman thing. That's what we saw. So that's who Miss Kang is uh spying on. 이년 엄마는요. 지금 어디 있어요? Huh. That's Dong An's mom. <laughs> I don't really think Dong An is in much of contact with her anymore, though. You probably couldn't even threaten her with her. What? She's not. Is she part of the plan? Yeah. <laughs> God, damn. I mean, maybe she just figures that she's gonna have to be part of the collateral because Yeon Jin is obviously gonna go after her. Mm, it must have to do with the killer of his dad. Yeah, that's his personal trauma you're cutting open right now. Inmate. Oh, yeah, that's literally his number, huh? Man, and the mom is visiting him now. Oh, 
백번 천번 사죄해도 제 죄가 사라지지 않는다는 것 압니다. 돌이킬 수 없다는 것 압니다. No, you're not. Then why would you have sent the letter? 개소리 하지 마. 수십 통이 다 같은 내용이야. 예, 제가 제가 음, 글자 죽어 없어서요. 그리 만나쳐? 너 같은 쓰레기가 감형이나 받자고 감히 내 아들을 건드려? 내 아들을 지옥에 보내노? Yeah, so he had only sent them to her son. And I guess only now she had started to learn about that, right? Oh my god. This fucking guy, man. Yeah. He was just pretending all that time. This is his true identity, I guess. But he is mentally unstable, man. That's the only that's the only way that you can do something like that. Yeah, I mean, why do they worry so much about him being reported missing, though? <laughs> what the fuck was that supposed to mean? <laughs> uh, in the middle of a quarry he is right now. What, she doesn't want the cops messing with her because of her drugs? or Is that why? She just doesn't want anything, any contact with them? Just because she's afraid? Sana, you are going to die. Oh,いもにめくいるんさなちょくなるぶとちねんでみださなのみぐげそああ、ウッドハスバンさなのみぐげそああ、ウッドハスバンさなのみぐげそああ、ウッドハスバンさなのみぐげそああ、ウッド
Man, I'm gonna see all the pictures and everything. That's all that's in this room. Pictures and a mattress, or literally that. Hmm, <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Who just showed up? Is it our husband or is it uh, Dong on herself? Or the both of them? Well, it wasn't Dong on, I guess. Ah, he's going to this body of. Yeah, so he. Oh, the body was taken out, so everything was covered up, I guess, right? Yeon Jin must have done it. I think it's Do Young. He just asked where she lived. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hadn't expected to see you here. <laughs> Man, so so like what side is he gonna be taking now? I don't think it's really going to be siding with Yeon Jin anymore, of course. So, what? Is he actually going to be siding with Dong An? Or is he going to want nothing to do with it? Would he be willing to depart from it all? Yeon Jin? Hiya Sol? Well, I guess we're playing the next move, huh? Yeah, I loved it, man. I mean, the show just sticks to its guns. It it all gradually builds, and it's not in a hurry to... Uh, you know, again, like for an episode like this, you could have expected it to really feel like a mid-season finale, and oh, they're gonna, they're gonna end in some kind of explosive way. I feel like they didn't even really do that, right? It's all, like I said, really gradually, at, the, at just the right pace, it's building up, but you just love to see it all unfold. And there's not even necessarily, I think, a whole lot to say about this episode. I think the most fascinating conclusion or I guess the thought that really started dawning on me is like Dongan is really managing to actually get a lot of characters on her side right and it seems like really it's like she's almost working up to getting everybody on her side except then Yeon Jin still it'll be interesting to see like what does she truly have in mind for all these other characters at the end of it all right I mean for Yeon Jin it makes sense that like okay she really wants her to suffer but what is she really trying to achieve with J. June. I mean, it's very clear, for example, with him, that past is almost just as fucked up, right? If not just as fucked up. We we even went back to revisit the first time they started bullying her, and uh, we had that scene in the rain that they showed and, and largely emphasized, which was fucking messed up, right? Um, again, but, but, but he is starting to feel somewhat like sympathy for what she's doing, and obviously she figured that she has... How should I put this? She has motivations for him to want to side with her, right? Because it's all about high soul at the end of the day, even for him now too. He's trying to get Yeon Jin separated from Do Young, for example, right? To get the kid and everything like that. So that that's interesting. But again, I feel like at the end of the day, they're all obviously just pawns for Dong An too. The question is, what's she going to do with those pawns afterwards when she's achieved what she's wanted to achieve with Yeon, uh, Yeon Jin? It's not just Jae Joon, it's also um, Hai Young, right? She's called, who... Yes, at first she was saying like, oh, forgive me, I'm trying to repent, this and that. And then you, she still sort of resorted <laughs> to like, oh no, fuck this, I'm all in it for myself. But then I feel like, you know, there was another scene, uh, I think it was with Jae Joon. Yeah, where she was helping him out and <laughs> basically saying like, tell her that I told you this, you know, about the whole situation. So she's trying to sort of get on the good side of, um, you know, of Dong An, even if you can, of course, still question, well, it could just kind of be out of, self-interest and that's really it right but uh, obviously there's there's uh, Do Young now as well who he's starting to learn about Yeon Jin's past what she did what kind of person that she really is she even told him like yeah there's a box about me you don't really want to see opened uh just think about what great things we have here but clearly I, that's the thing like Do Young is actually the character that could kind of be walking away from it all too right because once 
of course, it's going to do some mental damage to him realizing that Hayeso was never a kid and departing his wife and stuff. But still, he has a good enough reputation and he has enough going for himself that I could simply see him being the one stepping away from it all if he really wanted to. Um, it's going to take some time to get over it all, of course, but he has kind of has that choice in a way, right? Still, now I feel like he's, he might start actually sympathizing with Dong An. Maybe he's going to work together with her now on this whole thing. Who knows? Like, it could really be headed in any direction. And, um, yeah, that's what I'm just super fascinated to to find out about. Yeah, simultaneously, there is still that thread with the killer of, um, you know, Yu Young's uh, father, which we keep going back to. And clearly, he has some mental instabilities. And that conversation with the mom was very fucked up in prison. But it's still all just sort of dangling in there and weirdly thrown into the mix where it doesn't really make sense still in the larger picture of things. So I wonder where they're going to go with all that in the, uh, you know, the coming eight episodes. This is where they ended uh, part one. Yeah, but it, it's it's not, like I said, it's not the most satisfying, oh, part one ending or something like that, where like, oh, now, you know, <laughs> you won't, you wouldn't really have had much trouble waiting, I guess, for a part two, or maybe actually in an explosive way, it could have made you really want to, um, get to part two ASAP with like a huge cliffhanger or something. I feel like it wasn't like that. It's just nice how the show, like I said, sticks to that pacing, completely owns it. And I can't wait to, uh, obviously for me, I will be able to continue straight away already. So I can't wait to see where we go and where, uh, yeah, this season is eventually going to end. See how that all unfolds. For now, guys, I hope you all enjoyed my reaction and review of episode eight of The Glory. If you did, then you can, of course, already watch the next eight episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Over there, we'll be entirely done with this season. All 16 episodes are going to be up there. Go and check it out. Your support is very much appreciated and allows me to make these videos in the first place. And then with that being said, I want to thank you all a lot for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you back in the next episode.